Right, this one's a quick one for Paul Davis. How about that? What's the odds? He come in and I just noticed the track next to me's got Davis on the front of it. Uh, yeah, he has gone from a class one to a small van. And, you know, whereas he's basically done, he said, I've done the exact opposite of what you've done. I started off in a Luton van, not a small van, admittedly, and I'm going slowly working my way to a seven and a half tonne truck to an 18 tonne truck. He's gone the other way around. Now I can see the reason for this. Firstly, and I suppose a lot of you out there, our lorry drivers are sick of it. Not all of them. There's a geezer I met yesterday. He was from um, Sunderland. He was a Magnum. And he turned around and he says, um, I said, you sick of it? He's been doing 28 years, tramping. Starts on Monday, goes home on Friday. I said, you sick of it? Yeah. He said, no. I said, no, mate. He did that. I love it. He went, no, I'm happy. Happy, I'm fine. You know, he says, sometimes certain things, you know, certain firms are keeping tipping for hours and hours and hours and hours. But, um, no, he's absolutely fine. But as I said to one of the guys once who was a lorry driver, because you end up talking to everybody, even in your small van, you end up talking to truck drivers, like, you know. And um, he said, I jumped from like a small vehicle into one of these one of these big boys. He said, because I thought the aggregate would be less aggravation. And what I found is the aggravation is different. <laughs> yeah, and I know the difference. In, 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 the, in your long wheelbase van, that's when you turn up and a customer says, oh, can you move 40 boxes of wood from my back garden and load them in the front? Or can you take us down five flights of stairs? In these guys, it's when you turn up to a distribution hub and they go, oh, you're five minutes late. You can go in the naughty cage for four hours. You know, you sit there forever waiting to get tipped. We had one the other day, uh, across the road, actually. And um, five of us had turned up. It was a Friday night. I got out at four o'clock, one fork truck driver. He put one thing on the curtain so I didn't want to break for 20 minutes. We sat there for two hours. I think until half eight again. You know, it happens, it happened, it happened a few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, so the aggravation is still there. It's just different. But the thing is, when you're a truck driver and you're working for a firm and you're getting paid and then they're giving you jobs that they shouldn't give you because they don't talk to you and they don't understand the hours and all that, I can understand the game. For me, as a loan truck driver, it's different. Because when I work for a firm, I get all the money for a start. And um, secondly, I control my hours, I control my own job. So this, to me, running around in a seven and a half tonne is easier than running around in a Luton. You're more likely not to have to unload and unload it with a curtain. Much more like, at the beginning, I thought it was just gonna be a lot more handball. Just unlucky, my first two jobs were handball. But um, after than that, it's forked on, forked off, easy. And I've just got, all I've got to do is get my own head around the idea that I've got to slow down. Two jobs and knock. If you're lucky, you get them off three very short jobs and not, you know, go home. If you get home early, build that cabinet, that kind of thing, cut the grass. But yeah, so I can understand why. It's a lot of people that are class ones that have gone on the exchange in a little van and they're happy. So, you know, I've kind of, I've, I've got, I've, I've been working in the trucks all my life, my mortgage is paid and now I just run around in a little van, pick up a box, drive around, have a cup of tea, see the world, get myself a bit of pocket money, get myself out from under wife's feet and go home, like the Uncle Alberts. But yeah, I can understand why people do the change down. For me, like I say, two years into this, I've been doing this now, two, two and a half years, and I'm still raring to go, which is ridiculous, but um, that's it. Still learning, still learning the game, still learning how to take care and take money. Paul Davis, thanks mate. <laughs>